Okay, you can definitely see. Can you hear? There should be some very calming piano music. Yes, great. Let's create a third new career. We've, we've got it. Thank you. Thank you, Jake. You fought the code and it helped so much. Thank you so much for helping me fight the code. Exactly. You are John Passparto, Paint Marine. You have a hat and some colors. Your mission, defeat the canvas with your color gun. Um, let's try, let's try this. Draw a beetle, I'll, I will draw a beetle next. I, I started this thing. Um, this is not going to take very long. We got a, we got a little bridge here. It's going over the thing. And the bridge is out and also there's a dolphin yeah it's not a it's not a great representation. I was going for the Golden Gate Bridge. It's not a great representation of a bridge. But it is mine. I did do it. Uh, wait, no, dolphins don't have gills. And there's not a reverse. So now the dolphin's wearing a gray toupee. It's very concerned about the, the global economy. reading the Wall Street Journal. It's got one of those weird pointsulated images on it uh, of a Bitcoin that's crashed. Perfect. So we take that and we put it on the little thing here. And business dolphin is concerned about Bitcoin. Oh, that's not enough. I think I said Bitcoin's there. It doesn't matter. I don't know why this is compelling. It's I guess it's because it's like art that's happening in front of your dumb face, right? I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. It's art that's happening in front of all our dumb faces, right? We're not artists. But uh it's it's a sort of thing. This is what I like about this game and why I like just kind of watching Oh, hey. George thinks the uh, business dolphin was skillful craft. He wants to give us 57, I don't know, euros? Yeah, probably euros. Uh, right, beetles. You want just one beetle, 57 beetles? Just one? Okay, let's... Let's get this big. Oh, he paid me 57 beetles. Okay, that's the currency now. We've decided. So, uh, in hell does a beetle look like? 
I, I, I can't go get reference materials because it's, uh, that would cause the stream to stop. But yeah, it looks like a pill with legs, right? You have, uh, that's not quite like that. Let's do this. Make, uh, it's going to be one of those fangly beetles like they have in Japan, right? kind that they, uh, the kind that they fight with. You're getting nasty network lag? Yeah, my, my stream's showing a buffer, too. Hi, Andy. I'm glad you're here. We're drawing a beetle. Why are you like this? I have nothing up except Twitch. I should have colored this. I am willing to bet I know what the issue is. It's not really something we can concern ourselves with. Um, I should have done the... It's happening all over Twitch. Oh, well that's good. They must be having... Where's Twitch's corporate office. Is it in San Francisco? I think it's in California. Isn't that where the, uh, the Snownado is happening? Yeah, we're, tr we're trying for this battle beetle. I should have done colors before I did outline. I'll know better next time. Or I won't learn a lesson and it'll just keep looking shoddy. All up and down the west coast? Yeah, so maybe they're getting some, some bad interference. We'll just make the, the thing right down the center. That's where the wings would be. If you want to make a wingling beetle. Using consummate V's, we make teeth and outlines, and there's some eyes. Oh no, I like that. I didn't quite mean for that to be the way that looked, so let's pull that back and make that look a different way. There we go. Battle Beetle is ready to hammer. You like the beetle and its hugging jaws of hugging? Yeah, what else are the what else would Mother Nature have uh, created those those jaws for? Clearly it's a it's a huggling beetle. It's the champion at hugging. It's the it's the best hugger. Uh, I should talk a little bit about the gameplay, I guess. Although it's, <laughs> although it's just kind of fun to screw around. The uh, you can see on the top left there, it's saying bills are coming inbound. Uh, every in-game month that passes, and I'm not quite sure how quick the the clock is, but you can see. I had to pay $80 for such uh, amenities as food and shelter and wine. And I need to sell this art so that I can, uh, so that I can not die. Um, there we go. Best Beetle Wrestling or BBW. I don't. I don't think that's. Uh, I don't think that's taken by anything. Champion beetle prepares to hug you. 
All right. It does legit look like the gem monster Steven hangs out with. That's awesome. I believe you. I still haven't... Fuck you, it's too dull. That's the best beetle you've ever seen. Your hair's dumb. Anyway. Uh, what's next? Oh, Steve likes this one. Do we want to hold out for more than 183? That's like three months worth of food. Uh, let's hit this wait and see if we can get a little bit more. Oh, we, we waited him out. 210, that's that's easily four months. Uh, what do we need? What What's next? What's the next thing? How about, uh... It was a spider. I, like, felt myself making too many legs, and then I was like, uh... So, we're just gonna draw a, a mushroom, a blue mushroom, that's a thing. How about this? Okay, exactly. We get a mushroom, and then another more different mushroom. That's more of a candy cane. Um, because it's actually a dude in a hat. It's not it's not a cock. Don't be like that. Not I, I like okay, so art right is a, a function of the a function of the viewer more than the than the artist, right? I'm a big believer in the in that concept that art is basically anything you look at and feel an emotion about. Uh, garbage on the street to the Mona Lisa, anything's all right. Death of the skills of an artist. But next to two stones, okay. Well, let's get a nice nice big flat stone here and another more different stone fill those in nice yeah that's what I'm doing I'm making a red mushroom next to two stones it's exactly the thing you asked if I draw a penis, I'm going to draw a penis of my own volition. You're not going to trick me. There we go. And just like that. And... Oh, no, that's not the color I wanted. Let's go with the, the lighter red, actually. I'm glad I made this border real thick. Art exists as the interplay between creator and audience. Yeah, exactly. We'll get some white spots on it, sure. Like a mushroom has. And then I need something to do with this, so I guess it's a little dude. Just kind of chilling out under this mushroom because it's raining. And he doesn't want to get wet. Exactly. Continuous, enthusiastic consent of the penis. Make the mushroom smiley or make the little guy smiley? Both the mushroom and the little guy. Okay, I can do that. Um, let's go... Uh, some big blue eyes for contrast. And uh, let's make that a little bit smaller. Big grin. I actually kind of don't like those colors now that I'm looking at it. It looks a little ethereal and kind of a problem. And then this kind of turned into a mustache, so this is a little more Mario now. But I'm fine with that. I think that's good. 
That's that's salable. That'll fetch a billion on the open market. Tube Mario shelters under mushroom. Great. All right, so um, how about we do this and there and wa voila? Let's get it out of the way. I I know what I know what my what my audience likes. It's a it's a the truck community is. What do you mean? Why am I painting without passion? This is the best I've ever felt. In my entire life. I wasn't this excited at the birth of my daughter. That I don't have. See? Steve gets it. I do know my craft. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Please have that painting. I would let you take it for free. No, that's the wrong color. Someone has taken notice of my activities. Mushrooms high on speed, Luigi. I, uh... <laughs> that's probably true. Mushrooms kind of... Mushroom was kind of doing their own thing. Let's, uh, get down here. I don't like... I don't like a lot of hair on myself. You know, I'm probably not alone in that, but... Uh... It's, it's there. You kind of can't say it's not. I know, right? It's... This is... This is what we've wrought. Alright, so now... Yes, exactly. It's a Harry Art Deco shovel. You did want a beetle. I got, I got your beetle, but it's, uh... It's all this. Your cat's loving me. I'm glad. I'm glad I can uh, amuse your cat. What, uh... What else do we want? Here. I, that sounded dismissive of what I'm doing. I'm amusing a lot of people. Give the give the obvious dong a Luigi hat. Is this gonna get me TOS? I don't think so. I think it's too dumb and crude to be TOS. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I actually would. Like, it wouldn't be on Twitch because they wouldn't let them, but I would love to see, like, an actual, like, a Demetrius or something get on past part two and just, like, draw his characters in this interface. Just see how that turned out. Uh, we said give it a Luigi hat. Give it a Prince Albert for style. Um, I think we can do both. Yes, thank- oh, god damn it. Alright, can you, um, work the- the thing? Do you have permission to do that? I'm gonna pull this out. That way, maybe a little bit more. The Luigi hat is, like, it's pretty flat, right? It's not like a baseball cap, as much as it wants to look like a baseball cap. Yeah, that's good. Then we, no, let's go with, um, tan, so there'll be an obvious color difference between that and the background. That. And then it's... D for dongle. <laughs> yeah, you're mad. I don't know why. I, I turned the chat, like, steps to minimum, specifically so that if we just wanted to talk about ding-dongs or whatever in the chat, that won't be a problem. I don't know. What kind of, uh... Okay, let's go over the top, then. Because, you know, if we're talking about Prince Alberts, that's the kind I like. The kind that just kind of go up and around. 
This is actually gonna get me TOS, as a matter of fact. Yeah, exactly. Wang Doodle's drawing the crowd. I'm not gonna argue. I know what the people like, and what the people like is, um, juvenile humor and crude drawings of penises. Wait, that shape? Is the hair. Oh, the Luigi hair? I don't... Oh, the... The... Oh, mm. I see that, but I think that's, I think that's break, uh, Alice is trying to get me to turn the, the penis into just hair, just like draw a head down here, uh, a like person head underneath it, and make that, uh, there's no penis you're imagining things, she doesn't, well, I, I'm doing this one, and then we're going to get away from stuff like this. We'll find something else. But there is a bunch of negative space here, and I want to do something with it. Not, it doesn't have to be a lot. So let's... Alright, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll draw... This is going to upset you, Alice, and I'm sorry. But we're going we're gonna to do another one. A smaller one in the back here it's kind of it's kind of cut off because of the because of the thing but there that is I'll put a little bit of frump right there and tan it in so that it's you know flesh colored if that's the color your flesh is flesh colored is very uh odd as a term i will make this one the mario one And it's got a W for Wang, except it ended up looking like an M because that's what happens with Ws. You just kind of ended up keep going and make a, a W instead, or make an M instead. So this is uh, this is our greatest art piece so far. Mario's would be smaller. Luigi doesn't have to worry about it. That's why he's laid back all the time. Mario, Wang, and Luigi Dong. Wonderful. Okay, so that's the last penis we're going to draw on purpose. What, what do we want to do? Benjamin! says this is fresh like a morning baguette if it's that fresh benjamin i think you can afford more than 152 169 nice nice we're taking it all right so what's the next thing Where are we at? Let's have a... We draw... Let's just start with a... Draw a cat for Jake's cat. Alright. Hey Jake, what color is your cat? of start sketching out the cat shape though that's about what a cat looks like right it's got feet i may have messed up i need to do this again it's gray all right um The white belly. Oh, don't worry about it. The, our our lag seems to have disappeared. So 
That's good. At least I don't have to worry about that too much. I feel like cats are usually a lighter gray than this, but we don't actually have a lighter gray. The, the lighter gray is white. Oh, what's our money look like? Uh, 584? That's, that's almost a year's worth of money. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Don't even gotta worry about it. I think... I think this isn't what a cat looks like. I think I might have misunderstood on a kind of general level how a cat is. Belly on on cat. What is your cat's name? I feel like I, I feel like you told me before, and I've forgotten. I'm taking some creative liberties with what your cat looks like. So much Minecraft has affected the idea, my idea of how animals are shaped, and I think that's beautiful. You're not wrong. I, uh, I do tend to draw animals a lot more square now. And we're just gonna... Oh, that's too big, but it's too late to fix it. Whatever. We're just gonna go back over it with a bit of a thicker line to make these lines look better. Not quite as shitty and sloppy. That's, that's good. Look at that. Everyone loves this. Neocubus Sapphire. How is your, how is your cat generally? Is your cat a, a grump cat or is it a, is it a friendly cat? I need to know what kind of, uh, what kind of face we're putting on this. a little bit in the back, too. I'm just going to take a, this, a sip of this Hansen's Cherry Vanilla Flavored Soda Beverage. Not a sponsor, but I wouldn't be against it. Let's, uh, let's clean this up, this line up just a little bit. I don't like that. I'm going to reboot. Give me a second. Okay. Um, I'm going to make some Uh, some decisions about what your cat's like. I'm going to assume, A, that your cat has coal black eyes like the devil itself. And, uh, little white beans in there. Nah, that's not working. That's not working. We can just pull back. Right, like all good cats do. Literally every cat is kind of the devil Satan. It's not their fault, that's just that's just how they are. And we'll do this here. To kind of show where the face would be if I had bothered to draw a face. With a pink nose. And, uh... How about the number three Nya mouth? There we go. And how about this? Because it's not good to just have her floating in space. So let's do this. We'll take our brush line and go like that. 
and we'll make this red couch right here. I don't know, uh, I don't know if Jake has a red couch in his home. But, uh, we're gonna pretend he does. I'm also gonna make some assumptions about Jake's home and how he runs it. We'll have Jake's head right here. I know some things about how Jake looks, so we can push that a little bit. It's still going to look bad, and I hope he doesn't feel bad about how I'm depicting him right now. But... Oh, no, that looks too... No, that looks too angry. We need to fix that. That's... Those are angry eyes. We don't want angry eyes. How about the... How about the other way? That looks a little better. And then... Mohawk happens... Bring me my angry eyes. Yeah. I kind of wish I had angry eyes that I could just break out in the, over the course of my day. It would save people a lot of effort trying to figure out what I'm doing. So you just go for snap-on eyeliner. See, that's actually dope. I would... I don't particularly enjoy makeup. Because it's a lot of work. And then... It's... And then I don't feel it's, uh... It's that great. What I do? This is a bad look. It's what I'm going with, but this is a bad look. And we're just gonna... We're just gonna save that for a minute. Uh, no, I don't want to hit X. Uh... It's like a slightly punk John Arbuckle. Yeah. Oh god, what is Jake's cat's name? That's a thing I should know. Sapphire? Oh god fucking damn it. That's the wrong that's the wrong button. Hang on. We're back. Nope, we're we're gone again. We're back now. Jake Ampersand Sapphire or not Sapphine. Those are different concepts. So there's this button here where you're supposed to be able to like tweet things that you create. I've not gotten that to work. I've tried really hard. Oh. Although apparently the screenshot works just fine. And George might come over and try and buy that, but oh, the colors are too crazy for you, George. You're not willing to, like, take a step back, right, and think about colors outside of the spectrum you've believed in all your life? Fucking jerk. Fresh like a morning baguette. Uh, I appreciate you, Benjamin, but this is, uh... This is something we're, we're saving for someone else. We, we need to have someone see this before we go off. The fuck is this? 
I don't know, I started green. Kind of feel like I want to draw a pot of gold. Let's draw a pot of gold. There's that, and it goes down a little bit. And just a really thick bottom. Right, exactly, for luck. We want to have good luck today. It's, uh, I've had, uh, actually, we don't need good luck. I've had a pretty good share of good luck over the course of the last couple weeks. I'm very happy about it, and I want to shed that good luck around, so we're going to make this pot of gold for everyone else. Uh, so as soon as we stopped drawing penises, we lost, like, everyone. But, uh, you know what? That's fine. If all you're staying for is the penises, then... I don't give a rat's ass what you care about. <laughs> this is, this is real art. This is what we do. It has no energy. Spent a lot of time making that. Good people died in that sweatshop. Gonna... I should just do that in black, I think. Yeah. You, you really want it, Benjamin, but I'm waiting for Jake to get back. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that you are interested in supporting my work. Uh, you could hit the follow button, that would help me out a lot. But, uh, I, I gotta save this right now. And... Let's outline... This... There we go. made a painting mate but you didn't make art I think I did that's it's an art who are you to tell me what art is this is a beautiful drawing of a friend of mine and their cat what's not art about that fucking peasants swear to god let's get some uh, let's get some diamonds on there do you think Stud some diamonds right across the top. Yeah, there you go. And then gold coins, gold coins, gold coins, gold coins, gold coins, gold coins, gold 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 find the circles we want at the top and then we'll figure out the rest of it from there. Whoa! What happened? Okay, there was some sort of error and we've made an angle. An angle occurred. Let's slide that down. Let's fix that a little bit. And I think I'm good with this. Lucky gold painting for luck and home. For luck and home. Exactly what I wanted to type. It's back. How you doing, Jake? I wanted to show you this because we finished it. 
it's nope you're not gonna you're not gonna let me see that clearly are you okay let's move back a second and you can see it i drew you i don't know what kind of couch you have in your home but my presumption is you sit on the couch and then sapphire just stands on the back of the couch and stares at you uh which is what we went with That's, oh, thank you. I will take $413 for a lucky gold pot of gold. Good, good luck in, good luck in your time. Good luck in your time and life. Okay, what's, what's next? I kind of just drew a pot of gold off the spur of the moment. Anyone got an idea? It's so tutor life. I tried, um... I I gave it I gave it my best shot. I have no knowledge of what your cat or home looks like. I have seen your face distorted in Instagram things, so I gave that a shot. I mean, it lacks energy. That's the other thing. It shouldn't be as tilting as it is that these randos come over and like spout the same four lines about how your art sucks. But it is. It's really disheartening and, and disturbing. Draw a butt. There. I, I drew it. I drew the... Okay, let's do a better job than that, I think. I'm not... I don't want to just draw a butt. <laughs> exactly, it's very avant-garde. It uh, breaks down the meaning of what art is. It kind of uh, causes the... It invites the viewer to reflect back upon themselves, uh, what they believe art to be, uh, and how we... Uh, how we perceive what the very meaning of art is via the medium of words in paper or uh, words in ink on canvas. Let's clean up that line. All right, so we're not just gonna, we're not just gonna draw a butt. We can't just draw. We've drawn a butt, don't get me wrong. We've drawn a butt, that's happening. But we need something you know what i just i've been using uh i have been using tan as a flesh tone because that's kind of my own flesh tone but let's go with the brown butt let's be inclusive you know uh skin is all colors art should represent all people and uh i think that's one of the things i'm really trying to say with this piece Garnet's butt. I have seen Garnet's butt from a internet webcomic that totally wasn't porn. <laughs> um, we need we need the butt to be doing something. I think this is kind of getting dangerously close into Adult Swim territory. Uh, how about? An active butt? Okay, that's good. I can work with that. So, the butt, well, we need, like, a whole different background. Okay, we're gonna... Uh, so, now that you've seen it, I'm gonna sell off this painting, because $332 is a lot. We're gonna take that. But, we can draw an active butt. How do I want to do this? Let's take... Here, we got blue skies smiling at me. Nothing but blue skies do I see. And the green earth here. And over here we've got a fence.
just like that, little slats like that. You know, how a fence looks. And the fence separates the road here. There's a yellow line on it, so you can tell it's a road. From the jogging path. Next to... The forest. And our butt, and oh, uh, let's green that out a little bit more so that there's more of a distinction. There we go. And our butt is wearing a headband. And some nice high vis earphones. Listening to some music. As they jog along. Now let's put a dinosaur on the path too. Why not? Let's get a. Get it. That's way too big, but I'm kind of over it at this point. I'm not over it, but there's only so much I can do with uh, with perspective. I'm very, very bad at perspective, as you can tell. And we'll get Oh, I don't know, what kind of dinosaur? It would have to be bigger than the butt, you're right. Um, let's go with an ankylosaur, because I really like ankylosaurs. Uh, which would be a more different kind of brown. There we go. It has a tail comprised of several large osteoderms. Ankylosaurs, as we know, are covered in spinities. And this one's reaching down to the thing there. And its legs are moving down to the pedals. Um, the Ankylosaur is happy, but it's kind of, it's kind of concerned. It's got a headband too, why not? should have been a little more careful with this outline. That's okay, though. Art doesn't have to be perfect. That's why they call it art. Ankylosaurs were always my favorite dinosaur, because they have those uh, tails that are giant clubs. This one's, uh, you can't see it because, well, I can draw it in. It's a little bit off screen. And you can kind of see the club part coming back up, but, uh, 
it's hard to really get a hold of it. Garnet Bud slash Ankylosaurus stick is now a must. I mean, that's, you know, writing isn't really my forte anymore. I'm, uh, I'm just happy to be, uh, I'm happy to just be a visual artist myself. Uh, um, but on a job, jobaga, with ankylosaurus. I guess, you know, I didn't think about it too much, but looking at this, I feel like the Ankylosaur is like it's, uh, Doc Brown to the butt's Little Mac, right? Where the butt's running out in front and the, and Doc is trying, oh, Doc Lewis? I'm sorry, right, Doc Brown is from, uh, Back to the Future. No, Doc Brown, I think, because, uh, Punch-Out was a series about time travel, right? That's, uh, the only reason Little Mac managed to beat as many people as he beat. It's because he, uh, kept time-changing. 984, really? I'll, ta I'll have that. Uh, what are we doing now? I love that this into this rich tapestry you brought a punch out reference that went sideways into a back to the future reference. I'm I'm glad that you're enjoying yourself. I I certainly am. This is a lot more fun than I I thought it was going to be fun. This is even more fun than I thought it was going to be. Um Let's start Start with this blue. And I'm just gonna. This is something I used to do a lot uh, in like composition books and stuff like that. I used to just draw, not even draw really, just like sketch one continuous shape. And then try and figure out what it was. So I'm looking at this. Like, it's got an awful lot of... It's got an awful lot of potential. It's kind of a self-made Rorschach test. And the great thing, of course, about a Rorschach test is that you can never fail. You can just be committed. I don't call that failing. Clearly an alien. I was kind of thinking that same thing. It, lo it looks... I went red. And it kind of... Given the fact that it is red, it kind of reminds me of uh, Toe Jam. Of Toe Jam and Earl. A stage one Pokemon. I like that too. Alright, so let's talk about this Pokemon. What this Pokemon be? Well, we'll finish writing this out, and then we'll work on the uh, the finer detail. I don't know how well it comes across on Twitch, but all of the canvases have a, a canvas texture to them. It's uh, it's crisscross slightly underneath the colors, and it's really neat. I, I love the hell out of the way this looks. Let's start at the sus suspiciously dark lore entry first. Um, uh, well, it's red clearly because it's covered in blood, obviously. It's sentient blood born from the floor of a remote mountain hospital. I'm all about that. It's very, uh, it's very fatal frame. <laughs> How do we want to... How do we want to parse this? I think the... I think the head's down here. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm trying to get this smile to be creepier than this. That is a little mimic you. I think it needs... I think it needs fangs. I think it does need fangs. And white spots for its pupils. There we go. That helps. That helps a lot. Now a name that was clearly written by a Japanese game dev with limited knowledge of English but access to Google. Hemogoblin. Oh my god, that's so good. Right. Uh... Call it how many goddamn no no number one fifty five. There's still only a hundred and fifty one Pokemon, right? Don't tell me that I'm wrong. I don't care. Uh, it needs a little more detailing though. I like this, but it needs like a chin uh, and some semblance of fingers. Uh, I'll tell you what, these should even be fingers with claws on the end. That's how it can attack on top of the, you know, obvious vampirism. It involves into- oh, no, that's butt- that's butt brown. I don't need butt brown. Alright, so the other thing, the kind of elephant in the room, is that what is this? What's this? What's happening up here? Because there's a lot of this space, and it's kind of hair, but there's too much of it to just, like, leave alone. So let's, let's draw this in here. little bit more than that. There we go. It hears from there. It's like an antler or an antenna. Vestigial limb. It swirls when it does its special. I like that. So let's... If that's what we're doing, then let's clean it up just a little bit. I'm, I've been trying to keep the, I've been trying to not go back over stuff as much as possible, but I think, yeah, this could do with a little bit of, of fixing. So if it spins, it needs a little bit less than that. And then we can cut this out here. So this can be the other hearing tube. It's Z-Move is just the climax of Carrie, where it's, uh... Where it just dumps blood on the other Pokémon, and it's embarrassed, and then it gets caught on fire. These are supposed to be motion lines. I don't know if that's coming across, but... I'm about this. We need a uh, lower claws, too. And if they're water type, it would be super effective against fire. It's all come back around. It's full circle. I, lo I legitimately love this. This is... This has been... A real goddamn thing. Hemo... Goblin... The blood Pokemon. There we go. Exactly, our spiky twirling child. It's it's so good. It's so lovely.
No, I'm really not about making this our mascot. I love this picture as much as you do, don't get me wrong, but I, I don't want... I kind of don't want this being the thing I have at the corner of all my streams. Ho ho, originalite. I'll tell you what, hipster, I'm gonna fucking crank you for some extra money because you're about to tell me that you did like me better before I was fucking successful. Yep, see, right there. We've decided you're becoming too popular. Expect no more money from us. Son of a bitch just bought my painting and it's like, uh, I got the last good one. Fast part two went in a fucking hole after this. I don't know what this voice is I'm doing. Um, I just kind of started doing stuff. Hang on, hang on, I think I got it. All right, we're not gonna we're not gonna do all dumb stuff. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make something a little nice. Uh, nope, not that. It did sound a little like Amiel do hardcore. I think that's actually a really good point. God damn it, Jim Sterling. Why are you the best at all the things? There we go. We got nostrils there, except that's not how nostrils work. And then... Some eyeballs. Just like that. Exactly how eyeballs always look. It's not fair that you haven't banged Jim Sterling yet. I think he'd let you, right? Like... He's, uh... He's a very open man. We'll go with that. I mean, don't, don't, uh, maybe I should say don't go harass Jim Sterling. No, they shouldn't both be wearing hoop earrings. Let's, let's have more variety than that, I think. Nope, that's not the one. That's not it either. What the hell was my color? There it is. She has a barbell through the top. There we go. And a little stud, I guess. Everyone who wants a bit gets a bit. Don't, uh... I'm wrong. Do that. Do that and tell him that I sent you. Because it's going to get me views at the very least. <laughs> So, this happened. Um, it's kind of supposed to be two people like, well, you can see it, right? It's two people like preparing to kiss, but they kind of look like they're staring at the camera. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I feel like I wanted it to come out better than it worked, than it, than it did, but uh, here's where we are. Yuri on the cheap. There we go. <laughs> All 
Right. Uh, anyone else? It says that there are four people in chat, uh, which would be me and Jake and Andy and someone else. Someone else, if you have a if you have a request, please shout it out. I'm I've been drawing dicks with Mario hats, so I'm willing to do almost anything. Or just hang around. You shouldn't have to feel pressured. I'm just happy that you're here. Exactly, the floor is the limit. There is no floor. Every single time you think you get to the bottom of the barrel, there's a further false bottom to the barrel. Um, the thing that jumped into my head was to draw a representation of the Poe song, Hey Pretty, and then realize that that's not good for a variety of reasons. Okay, uh, have yourself uh, a good night, Andy. I hope you get over the last vestiges of your cold. Do you have permission to share the picture of uh, Sapphire watching me draw? Yeah, absolutely. How about this? Let's, let's, I like abstract art. So let's do just a little bit of abstract art while we think of a, a new thing. I mean, why am I paint? Why am I painting without passion? That's the most passion-filled thing I've ever drawn. It's the it's the adorable love between two women next to each other, like women do all the time. I went I went with this color scheme, and I'm not sure how I feel about it anymore. Dun, 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 dun. So just, I'm still just kind of fucking around. If you have a, something more concrete of a plan, just shout it out. Because otherwise, fuck you, hipster. Because otherwise, I kind of just, I'm going to do stuff like this. Where are we, where are we doing? We're doing this. I wasn't just humming Tom Steiner, I was humming uh, a Secret Tunnel from Avatar. I do love Tom Steiner. I named, uh, we'll get into it on Monday, but there's an area in my Minecraft world called Tom Steiner. That, uh, I was very happy about it. A super gay unicorn. Okay. I'm fine with that. Just let me just let me finish up this idea real quick. Where I don't have a lot more. Yes, there are less gay unicorns. Uh, yeah, I know. Believe, believe me, I know. There's all kinds of unicorns out there, and some of them are not even, like, useful. Some of them, you just look at it, you're clearly a horse who didn't even try. Oh, right, that's exactly what was going to happen. There we go. That's good. That's about what I wanted. So let's find ourselves a gay unicorn. Uh, we we start with a uh, kind of regular brand horse head. Right, and then a, a majestic neck with a long 
long, long, long body. Um, it's got those horse ears like you get, like horses always have. I gotta be honest with you, I'm pretty sure I'm a much better artist when I'm not actually paying attention to anything I'm doing. He should fart a rainbow. Oh, all right then. Uh, if we need to have the horse farting a rainbow, I sure would have probably gone uh, this way in the first place. So pretty, the same thing, right? We get horse haid, and then horse ears. It looks a little more donkey, I think. Uh, but it's also got a giant fucking horn, so who's gonna stop it? The neck. Are we have kind of a scraggly unicorn? I'm not gonna lie. We, uh, this got a little more. There we go. This one's uh this one's a little underfed. But uh that's fine. It's you know, as unicorns go, it's more of a twink. And uh Yeah, there's nothing wrong with Scraggly either. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just uh I kinda wanted a bit of a thicker animal and that's not how it went out but hey you do you scraggly unicorn let's go back over this these lines look just a little bit prettier and George it's because they're drawing off the same archetypes but George reminds me of a character from uh, sheep in the big city who runs the uh, the hipster coffee house, which is, I believe, I'm gonna fuck it up, because it's huge, it's a long name, but it's called the Zip Zap Skibbity Doo Bop Zooey Doo Wah Wah Cafe. Oh, that's, no, come on, quit being a jerk. Uh, I'll clean up the underbelly a little bit. Clean up there. I think we need that for the thing. And... What, we're gonna fart a rainbow? Yeah. Okay, so if it's farting, I think, then it needs to have, like, closed eyes. Kind of a strained expression. With the teeth. It's kind of, it's kind of having some trouble passing this rainbow, y'all. It's, it's not the, it's not the most comfortable. Like, it's light, right? But it's hard light. And I guess we just Roy G. Bivet? Yeah. that we don't need. Bama. Yeah, like the tail's up, right? It has to be. That's how horses do business. I kind of want to color our unicorn in. Uh, I'm against the idea that all unicorns are white, right? Like, that's a little... I don't know, it's kind of classic, it's kind of traditional, but I, I break with tradition. We're, uh, we're gonna get rid of the lines that separate the head from the neck too, there we go. 
So we're gonna have to redo the face, I think. But anything a nice chestnut for the coat? That or the the darker brown? Or lavender? Ooh, there we go. Perfect. That's not lavender. That's a little better. I like this. I like how this is going. We'll just color these in, get out to the lines. And that's why I leave my outlines so thick. It's because I can go over them and it doesn't fucking matter. Wow, the chat on the stream that I'm watching is way behind. That's fine. I'm seeing you in real time because I've got my, uh, my chat catcher up. It's just the... Seeing it on delay on the actual video for me is weird. I would go over and reset my my Twitch browser, but eh, why? Yeah, we're gonna have to redo the face, but that's fine. That was the, oh no, that was the horn. I just colored in the horn. I didn't mean to do that. It's fine, I can just. Let's color that back out. Let's make the horn like a nice, like a baby blue, right? Poking out, yeah, that's good. And then we can make the tail a kind of deeper shade of purple. Oh, that's like real, that's like real dark blue. That's not what I want, that's a little better. There we go, that's lovely. And then again, the eyes closed, teeth gritted in a kind of very white. That's actually the first thing you should check on a horse is the teeth. Always look a gift horse in the mouth. That's what they say. You're having a bit of a time. That's okay, though. And let's do this, I think. Let's do this, too. And we'll give our unicorn a nice scarf. How about, gr how about green? How about nice kind of hunter green? There we go. That's not hunter green. That's a uh, hunter green's much darker. This is like a lime. Grin is a little mysterious. Yeah, I think it's the. I think it's the way the eyes are drawn that's kind of doing that. Because the... The kind of... The mouth says, like, grim, grimace, right? The eyes are saying, but what am I doing, though? Uh... This is good. I like this. No one's biting on our other two paintings, by the way. It's been a while. Uh, and that's, that's disappointing, because I really like the way both of those came out. This is going to be... Gayest unicorn possible. Theoretical. Oh, damn it.
That's okay. All right, so these aren't selling. We, we need something that's going to appeal to the unwashed masses. So what, uh, by the way, I, I don't know if you noticed, I kind of didn't draw attention to it, but we do have a new, we have a new tool, which is the, the spray paint tool which behaves, you know, like the spray paint tool and pretty much anything else, just uh, a little bit more. Oh, what's the word I want? I do know what you'd say. So, I don't know, let's go with it. This is a, oh, thank you, George. I will, I'll gladly take your thousand. Oh, our music has dropped. I wonder why our music has dropped. Uh, let's do this then. We'll get a gray... Kind of... Well, no. Let's get a little bit of white up here. To show that there is a sky. And then down here. Let's use the let's use the spray paint now. There we go. Let's push that out a little bit so it'll be bigger to see. I quite like that. I don't know why our music has stopped. It's uh, kind of disconcerting. Oh no, we should. Uh, no, let's let's stay with the the spray paint. Actually, let's just make this whole thing very very textured. And some kind of lighter bubbles coming out from here. There we go. I like this. There we go. It's Moby Dick. It it's Moby Dick. Like the like the whale. But like the whale, though. Um, oh, that's why our music has stopped. We're getting a visitor. The critic. I see. Hey, how about it? It was only recently I heard of Passepartout, a quirky young artist with a passion for life and death. As I walked down the crime-stricken alley, I embraced the air of a deep struggle before being entranced by the piece on the table. From a distance, I was struck with the craftsmanship. As I approached the piece, the silence was deafening, as, and as I came closer, it ushered a sense of dread. Upon closer inspection, the intriguing details of sky blue contrasted by the profusion of dark teal reminded me of my children. The use of blue gave a lugubrious sense of tranquility. All in all, rapid transit is a good effort. Passepartout has a lot of potential, and I can certainly recommend my readers to visit Passepartout in the future. The Critic I'm glad you liked my Moby Dick joke. 
uh, we're moving on. We've been noticed by the art world, and we uh, we now can afford a, a nice little studio. I think we have time for one more, like, good painting. And then we're, we're going to have to call it a night. Uh, let me, let me give you a look at this tool. This is the third and final tool that we have, but it's the smooth... Yeah, Russian accent's kind of my thing. My, my, my real last name is very Russian, so it's something I kind of grew up with. Uh, the smooth line tool allows you to do this. It just slowly drags the line across a canvas, so you can, uh, control it a little bit thicker. Or not thicker, a little bit easier. Hey, you're Russian too. How about it? I'm, uh, I, I don't particularly consider myself Russian. I'm an, I'm an American. I, I was born here. I'm probably going to die here. But. I keep having the idea that I'm going to go back, that I'm going to go to Russia to, like, just look around where my family came from. But right now's not a great time to do that, so I've even stopped thinking about that as a, as a concept. You know, maybe wait. Maybe wait on that. Uh, so what do we want? Yeah, right now isn't the... the best space to try and... and go to the motherland. It's, uh... it's a real son of a bitch out there. You've been, it was cold. It, uh, it seems like it's cold. Oh, you have an idea? Because I'm up for it. Right now I'm just kind of drawing something from Binding of Isaac. Adipose baby? Yeah, a little bit. Wipe that out. I'm trying to remember how the. Let's make it on uh, dark red, I think. I'm trying to remember how the adipose looked particularly. They were really, like, simple design. It was like a kind of a roundy head. kind of tapered off this way. They were super blocky, yeah, and they had kind of little, oh, what does Strong Sad call them? You wouldn't know because you uh, still haven't seen Homestar Runner. Yeah, like marshmallows. But uh, Strong Sad from the Homestar Runner cartoons has feet like this that he calls Sulnans. I don't know why. It's just a weird joke. <laughs> or maybe that's what they're actually called, like in Elephants and whatever. I don't think I'd know myself. And Big Smiles, sure. Because they're, they're so happy. They're so happy that they're going to, like, take over most of humanity. Let's make this a little bit thicker. And we'll actually do this. Because we can make the interior out of, like, a tan, and that's going to give some contrast.
Would you believe this is like the most I've painted in something like 20 years? They have... They had kind of up and down black eyes, I think? looks a little more sinister. This looks a little more sinister than maybe I meant. But, uh, that's, that's cool. Oh, they had little button eyes, not like super meat boy eyes like I've drawn here. We can fix that real easy, look. Okay, that's not better. That's not better. Even that off. Even it right off. There we go. Um, I'm not the hundo that this is looking the way I want it to look. the same kind of squared off arms, yeah. I think that's the case. By the way, I haven't uh, mentioned the music yet, I don't think, except to say how... Uh, how it wasn't working near the beginning of the stream. It's really dope. Like, it's exactly the perfect, like, ambiance music, right? It's it's nice, and it's sweet, and it doesn't intrude on your gameplay experience at all. It just kind of shows up. It sits in the corner of the room and says, hey, I'm just going to be hanging out here with my guitar. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Just, just get on with your painting. I'll just be right over here. Let's, let's circle you out a little bit more, actually. Just a little bit. I don't like how square that looks, because now that I've said it, it does look a little too super meat boy. Just a little bit thicker is good. I think, I think this, I think that's good. We, do I have my phone on me at any point? Hang on. Uh, I must have set it down somewhere, but God alone knows where. Oh, it's in my purse. Here it is. I'm just gonna, for my own edification, I'm gonna look up, uh, I'm gonna look up what an adipose actually looks like and see how close I got. I, I get the feeling it's not quite that close. Adipose Doctor Who. Oh, that's not... That's not too far off. I didn't, like, leave room for its hands or anything, but yeah, that's... That's doable. That, that came out okay. So we're going to put that up for sale as Adipose Doctor Who. Oh, it's not that I... I like this drawing, whatever it is. I just didn't know how... It's been a long time since I've seen that episode of Doctor Who. I don't want to just call it Adipose Doctor Who. That's... Uh, squ squid... Brand. There we go. Much better. Right. 
and this is shut up elizabeth uh that's gonna be the stream i think uh thank you so much everyone who uh chose to stop in uh i really appreciate it if you uh liked me drawing art i'm doing that for people who are following my channel let's make uh if you hit that follow button and then send me a uh, uh, request of what you want, either uh, in a whisper over Twitch or on Twitter and Mastodon, which you can see down there at the bottom of the screen, I will draw that for you. All you have to do is hit that little heart-shaped button. Uh, tomorrow... Oh, tomorrow is the retro stream. I'm going to go back to doing um, Donkey Kong from 1994 off the Game Boy, which is a weird puzzle game. I'm glad you loved your monkey. I was very happy with how the uh, with how that turned out. Uh, and J oh god damn it! And Andy really liked his uh, his nurse Kirby. So yeah, if you're watching this on the VOD or if you're watching this on YouTube, I do this live at twitchtv hailing. You can see Twitter and Mastodon down there at the bottom. Uh, you can contact me there. Sure, George. Have, have a great time. And, uh, yeah, Friday I'm doing Donkey Kong. It's a, for the Game Boy. It's a weird puzzle game. We're about halfway into it, and it's so fucking good. And I love it. Come check it out. Uh, until then, stay safe.